I gave him a few little grunts and he'd turn on a dime and came here to about 80 yards. I think I just smoked him. And that, ladies and gents, is why you let the small ones go. Um, I really thought I was going to regret passing that three-year-old, but... See what we got. November 6th, back in the stand this evening. We got the decoy out here in front of us, and we've already had two little bucks come cruising through these fields looking for does. I'm um, hoping we can get one of these deer to come out and challenge the decoy we got here in front of us. We got more shooters showing up, pops showed up. I haven't seen that deer since, geez, last December, I guess. He's he's a grandpa on the farm. He's been here for two or three years now, I've been chasing him. And um, a couple other new deer that showed up that are definitely shooters, so. Fingers crossed. Again, hopefully the big eight comes out, but we'll see. No promises that OG makes an appearance, so we're gonna let some arrows fly tonight. It's the plan.
obviously that sucks. That's one of our target bucks we named Pops. Been chasing him the last two or three years. It's the first encounter I've ever had with him. And he was coming into the decoy, I think. He was following barbed wire. And there were four does right around the decoy. One of them got too close and spooked. Blew out the whole field. And he was probably 80 or 90 yards. And he got out of here. So we still got some daylight left. But man, that sucks. Getting that close. November 18th, and Lord have mercy, it is cold. The weather app says it feels like 16 right now. And the sun is out, but it's not doing anything. Um, I'm bundled up like the Michelin Man right now. The wind is howling, but we're on the grind still. We gotta try to kill a deer this year. So, we're out here. Hopefully, we uh, get one of these shooters to come out here falling on a doe or something. They're kind of locked down right now. So, either they're locked down with a doe or they're looking for one that's available, so. I mean, you would think they'd be on the beans tonight, so. Hopefully I don't sit out here and freeze my butt off for nothing, but it's chilly. Hopefully we see some movement. I think we just smoked a doe. Um, they just kept, kind of kept filing out of this corner here. One, two, three, four, and just kept waiting, kept waiting, and finally the sixth one came out, the biggest one, and the two bigger ones were kind of grouped up there for a second. Um, I waited probably five or 10 minutes to make sure no bucks were following them, but um, 
I think we put a good shot on her, and Dad's up here, so we're going to get down and track her here in a second. Well, November 20th, finally got a deer on the ground. It's been a little, been too long, but got some meat in the freezer. Thank God Dad's here to help me drag her out because she's a, she's a good-sized doe, but came out with five others and gave me a good 40-yard shot, so she only made it probably 50 yards down the hill, so got meat in the freezer and uh, finally got a deer down so that's good. <laughs> Second, the last day of rifle season. Um, just a few minutes ago, we passed on a what we think is a three and a half year old. He's got a good looking rack on him. I got the gun up and was really tempted to shoot him, but um, we think that deer's three and a half, so we're gonna let him go. Might regret it at the end of the year, but I think I made the right decision right there, even if I have to eat my tag for the time being. Last morning here in Missouri, I gotta go home this afternoon for a family dinner tonight, so it's our last set for rifle season, and hopefully we get one of these mature bucks to step out. And that, ladies and gents, is why you let the small ones go. Um, I really thought I was gonna regret passing that three-year-old, but um, we were actually about to pack up. It's probably about 8.30 or so right now, and I gotta get home, but um, thinking about packing up, and I look down the corner, and there's a, a good-looking buck making a scrape. Um, I think it's one I had over the summer. I haven't seen him in a long time, but he's just a good mainframe eight-pointer. And uh, he was heading back down further in the corner. I gave him a few little grunts, and he'd turn on a dime and came here to about 80 yards, and I think I just, I think I just smoked him. So uh, we're gonna give him a little bit, but we're gonna get down, go, hopefully recover him, and then gotta get home for some Thanksgiving activities. But um, last day of gun season, I think we just got it done.
Good stuff. All right, we're tracking probably 100 yards, and uh, there he is. Just a nice, good-looking mainframe eight, bladed on both sides of the V2s. A nice, clean eight point right there. Put on a show this morning. All right, well, November 22nd, the last day of gun season here in Missouri. Um, man, I don't even know what to say right now. It's been a frustrating year, to say the least, up till this point. And he came out mid-morning, made a scrape for us down here, worked it for five or ten minutes, gave us a show. And uh, it's not a buck I've seen since probably August or September. Um, but that's what the rut does. It brings in some brings in some bucks that you haven't seen in a while or some new ones. And... Uh, couldn't be more thankful, couldn't be happier. Just stand behind this great point right here. All right, y'all are in for treats. I'm one here. I got a load. This big old deer in the back of this truck. So, uh, this could either go really good or really bad. Coach asked, this is my lift for the week. Couldn't be more thankful, couldn't be happier. We stand behind this great point right here.